All right, today I want to answer a simple question, but it's been pretty confusing. So what is a port, what is a socket, and what is a difference? Um, this is commonly a big source of confusion, but let's, let's talk about it. So both are digital constructs, and if we really need to think about it, um, that, that's where it starts getting a little bit confusing. Uh, ports first, you'll probably see this in your networking or security class. A port is basically a place where data comes out of or goes into. Uh, think of it like a digital switch on your switchboard of your computer. Um, it is a logical way for the computer to send information to a particular place. Uh, now I know that hasn't quite too clear but let's let's talk about sockets for a bit so sockets tend to be more discussed in programming courses and usually rightly so um, a socket is what a program or service binds to and this would include your computer's IP address or server's IP address and the port number and so what is really the difference well the first things first is that a socket has to include both the IP and the port number. And this is a, a linked construct. As we can see down here, um, you know, I'm going to quickly create a small thin line. This process of where a service binds to this port number is how the computer can tell where to direct data that's incoming to the computer to what service it should be. So we can have two services, one is FTP and one is the web service, and they will bind to two different sockets. And then the computer, when it receives data, it will use that port number to direct that information to the correct service. The port number itself is more of a networking construct and this is basically how it can separate data coming in into different things now we haven't moved on from just the server we are still in this uh, server one we have not touched any of this on the client because on the client you have all the same things you can have a Mozilla Firefox browser service being bound to uh, an ephemeral port combined with that client's IP address becomes that end's socket. And when those two ends talk to each other, that's when the connection has been made. So let, let's talk about it in something that uh, more people can uh, understand. So try to think of you. You are a service. You um, are selling your service in this concrete, boring, no glass mall that has no name. And you and customers are coming in and they don't necessarily know where you are, right? The mall is your computer and the address of the mall is your IP address. Now through the magic of the internet or GPS, your clients have somehow arrived at this building in this mall. And the problem is there are 65,535 stores in this mall. And because everything is made out of concrete and they can't see into anything and they don't know what any store sells, how are they supposed to get to where they want? Now, the nice thing is that every store has a number and these are your port numbers. Now, they can't see into the store and there's no names, but there happens to be a map. And if for things that are very common, let's say web traffic, let's just say every mall tends to want to bind HTTPS traffic to 443. And this is common everywhere. So your, your clients will come into the mall, you know, assume, assuming that they want to go to store 443. And if you are like most web stores, web service stores, you're going to be also at store 443. 
And But if you don't want to be, and if you picked a different location or port number for various reasons, then they you will have to find a way to, of informing your customers to know that you are at a specific port. Something that's very commonly used, maybe 8080. And can you move? Can you? Absolutely. Because all you have to do is pick up your store and all your stuff and just go to a different one, bind to a different port. And when you bound to a different port, that entryway of the customer coming in and finding their way to your store is the socket. Uh, I hope that has made things clear for you. And if not, feel free to shoot me any questions. Uh, thank you for watching.